My name is Jill. I'm shooting a cooking show. You want to win money? Yeah. You shop in your kitchen. Oh, God. Like we're shopping for a restaurant. Come on, come on. I have no idea what's going on. He answers the door. Somebody yelling to get stuff out of the fridge. It's just mind blowing. So the Food Network's latest culinary competition show features professional chefs who head to local neighborhoods for an outdoor cook-off using only ingredients from the local homeowners' homes. It's called Kitchen Crash, and it is hosted by Chicago's very own friend of the morning show, Jeff Morrow, who joins us live right now. Hello there, my friend. How are you? Dean, I'm doing well. So excited just to just to hear you speak my name, obviously, since we have Channel 9 WGN Morning running on a loop every morning in our home. But also, I'm just so proud of this show. You know, it's been a long time coming. We shot it during the pandemic safely. So there's so much like gravity to the show and it's so much fun and it's so different and fresh and real and new. So I'm excited for you guys to see it and yeah, I represent can't. our lovely city. I can't wait. I can't, I can't wait to, to see, you know, you know, a different take on uh, all of these competition shows that you see out there. I, I, we'll talk more about it in a second, but just, uh, you know, tell me about uh, your holiday. I always wonder if you super foodie guys, you know, for the holidays, if you do something like so over the top or if you just go to the McDonald's drive through, you know, for, for the family. <laughs> I may or may not have gone through the McDonald's drive through after presenting an award at the James Beard Awards here in Chicago <laughs> two years ago. I but have a feeling that you did. I, uh, I, I, was, yeah. I was so hungry. It's like, why, why am I hung, Why am I starving? And you know what usually scratches the edge? A double quarter pounder with cheese, no pickles, no mayo on a side of 20 piece. But that being said, side. when it comes to Christmas, usually every year we host 30 something, 32 people from both sides of the family. My wife, Sarah's my side. They all congregate. My side's Italian, Chicago. Her side's from Kentucky. So how do you meet in the middle with a ton of very rich foods, red meats, pastas, all this stuff. We change the menu every year. We didn't do that this year. We kept it really small, split up the groups. I, I actually made Italian beef for my family, oh, nice. a small group of nine people, uh, and it was, it was perfect. So we scaled back. Usually I go all out, but it was kind of an excuse not to do that. And guess what? I was way less tired the day after Christmas. Yeah, I'll bet. Uh, so, so if you did kitchen crash at my house, what do you do? You, you come into the house and you like take stuff out of the fridge and the cupboard and all that stuff, and we, we have to create something with that? Is that how well, this works? I would be great at competing on your block because I know exactly where you live, Steve. <laughs> and where you do all your grooming every morning, but that's besides the point. <laughs> I would choose your house, Dean, because I know you cook a lot and you've been cooking so much during this pandemic on the morning show, so you're flush with ingredients. That's the strategy. These chefs not only have to find a homeowner to let them in, once they let them in and fill this one singular bin with enough ingredients to last them through three rounds of cooking competition, it's gotta be the right house or you're, the, the clock keeps ticking. They only have 10 minutes. And you see right there, she's filling up her bin, but. If you forget the salt, if you forget the butter, yeah. the sugar, the oil, you can't go back and there's no shared pantry. So I, if, if you're to everybody at home after a long holiday weekend looks in their fridge right now and someone knocked on their door and you want to win that five grand, you better have some ingredients in that fridge. So I think this encourages everybody to go shopping a little more. Yeah, you looks, never know when we're coming. This looks super, uh, super fun. Just on a kind of a serious note, uh, Jeff, you know, the, the pandemic has uh, just devastated the restaurant industry and the culinary industry in many ways. While people are cooking at home, uh, are unable to go out. Is the, the restaurant industry going to be able to uh, come back from this, do you think? Of course. I mean, it really is the most resilient, one of the more resilient industries in, in our country. And restaurant people inherently are tough, salt to the earth, gritty, scrappy people. And I know that they can make it past this in... In, in the ones that hopefully we get 99% of everybody returns that wants to be in the business still, I think those that remain will be so, uh, it'll be a renaissance of food, especially for, for, from a dining perspective. I miss it more than anything. I support local all the time from this Thursday, I'll be catering from Gibson's, going to pick up all the food that, you know, Gibson's and Oakbrook is providing, uh, or going and ordering shrimp from a place in Maywood that I love called Shrimp Spot, local fried shrimp, shrimp joint. So we just gotta, as, as restaurant fans, we gotta just do our part, yeah. just keep ordering. You know, I know we wanna cook right. so much, but 
Give yourself a break, Dean. Support, support order, the order restaurants, up. yeah. So mm -hmm. I, I see Italian yeah, beef on your I'm table. Right. I'm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing all good. kinds of products with the Moro name on it, their uh, product what, placement. What are you talking about? Where? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've had a very, very busy uh, uh, pandemic here, right? I, I, not only are we shooting, we shot the kitchen from home for 31 episodes. We finally shot in studio two weeks ago with my co-host. It was amazing. Uh, we did it safely. We knocked out a whole season. I did Kitchen Crash, plus I launched this Marl Provisions line, which I partnered with our friends at International Meats on Grand Avenue, the Bomprezzi family, that my mom grew up on the same block with them. They're third generation butchers. So we provided all these awesome butcher boxes. Um, and I got a special announcement that I just kind of came up with for you, Dean, because okay. I, I know you're a fan, yeah. is that we just launched this, these, uh, it's prime Italian beef, right? Nice. And the be beauty of this, oh, we just sold out. That. So this is shaved prime chuck, ready to go. And you have the au jus, and you get these beef kits. We're, we're, we're continuing on our Christmas New Year's sale for $99. You get two pounds of the prime beef. This is enough to feed eight people, plus eight jumbo sausage, the best Whoa, Italian nice. sausage in the world. Nice. Custom blend. A bottle of Armaro Provisions Medium Jardinera, which is the greatest craft jardinera you've ever had. Plus a whole bag of Toronto rolls. Nice. $99. And guess what? I'm personally going to be doing curbside delivery at International Meats, 7107 West Grand Avenue from 1030 <laughs> to 12 on New Year's Eve nice. Thursday. I said, what the heck? Love I'm going to put on a parka, do a little hand warmers. <laughs> nice. Right? And I'm going to warm you with beef. If someone wants a selfie, uh, a safe selfie from the car, we'll do all that. I'll sign whatever. Love it's it. just I haven't been able to connect with the people. You know, usually I'm. I'm, you know, doing uh, appearances every six minutes. Yeah. And now you can't do that. So this is great. Well, but our beef is the best. We'll so get, get out great. there, get the beef, check out Kitchen Crash, premiering January 6th on the Food Network. All the details Look at, at foodnetwork.com and also hashtag Kitchen Crash. Happy New Year to you, Jeff, to you and your family. It's great to see you. Dan, Dean, Lauren, you guys too. You guys are the best. Thanks for keeping us entertained every morning, keeping the news fresh and light to a certain point. Dean. That's right. All right, buddy. Love it. We'll Thanks, see you, Jeff. Guys. Take care. Thanks, Jeff.